Okay, so this is our both weekly and daily cycle analysis for the S&P 500. And what we see here is just still a very strong market, obviously. And you can see that there is a low that is due 422 to right around 527. Now, as I said in the opening segment, we are queuing this overall timing based on the VIX pattern. The VIX has a low that's due end of March, early part of April. So that says we are likely to see a continued move to the upside into that time period. Once we form our key lows in the VIX, we will look for a peaking phase to get underway in the stock market. And we aren't there yet. So this action is not surprising at all. Uh, it's really important to stay focused on the bias on both the intermediate term and the short term. And they are both still positive right now. Let's also focus on this bullish right-hand translation that's happening here, where we are using up this whole cycle of rallying. It's going to leave a shorter window of time for a pullback, and highest odds are it would move back to new swing highs here in that next rising phase. Okay, so a core bull bias is still in place, and we are watching closely that VIX pattern for a bottom to form around the end of March early part of April, and then for a peaking phase to only get underway after that. If we shift over to the daily time frame, look at this action here on these minor cycles, bullish right-hand translation on that minor cycle, which led to new highs. Bullish so far, right-hand translation on this next minor cycle. So what does that say? Good odds, we would still move to a new high in that next rising phase. Keep in mind, around this time period right here, end of March, early part of April, is when the VIX is due to form its low. So then we would start a peaking phase. In order for that peak to form, you see a really strong uptrend that is in place. That trend needs to weaken prior to forming an, an important peak. That's why I'm purposely saying highest probabilities are you would see a peaking get underway. Okay, this is likely going to take some time uh, to weaken this bull uptrend uh, prior to getting any meaningful moves on the downside. Okay, so really important to understand when you're in an uptrend, what needs to happen for a market to peak. And in this case, this trend is going to need to weaken. You will need to see this rising trend go neutral and then turn red on the daily time frame to give you any meaningful signs on the downside there is a daily low that is due here 315 to right around 326 and uh, these zones are all rising but they are currently at 5087 to 5029 and on the upside you can see our levels here uh, from 5205 to 5280 uh, here in the s p 500 so a core bull bias on both the short term and intermediate term are still in place.